This work is about real-time perception meets reactive motion generation. We analyze fully integrated model-based system architectures for robotic manipulation. Especially we are interested in the impact of fast feedback loops for coping with uncertain and dynamically changing environments. This is an example of how our system performs when grasping a Pringles box and placing it again on the table. Notice how our system immediately reacts to the unmodeled blocking obstacle and continues to grasp after it has been removed. The path towards the final placing location is also rapidly altered online due to the newly introduced obstacle. In robotics, the predominant system architecture is modularized into first perceiving the environment to build a world model, then creating feasible trajectories by planning, and finally controlling the system to track the generated plans. In this work, we argue that fast feedback loops are important, as shown here. Let's have a more detailed look at the different system architectures. Typically, we periodically receive new sense information, which is integrated into a world state S. The most reactive motion generation directly operates on the latest state information and greedily optimizes towards an attractor shown in green while avoiding obstacles shown in red. Reactive planning, shown in yellow, combines locally reactive control and continuous planning over a longer time horizon, resulting in a safe and immediately reactive system without sacrificing look ahead. Sense Plan Act is a special case of this system, only creating a plan once after initially perceiving the world state and not updating it continuously later on. Now that we have discussed the three different system architectures based on the same underlying methods, let's look at the experimental evaluation. Here you see the same task in parallel for all architectures. The task is to pick up a Pringles box and place it on the left hand side while an unknown and unmodeled obstacle is introduced. As you can see, locally reactive control in the middle is fairly fast but can get stuck in local minima. Reactive planning on the right can successfully cope with the dynamic environment changes and solve the task at hand. Sense plan act shown on the left simply fails. It hits the obstacle since it is not aware of any change to the environment. In the second task, we dynamically change the target pose, flipping the Pringles box which requires to adapt the grasp. Locally reactive control in the center greedily first attempts to rotate the wrist, whereas reactive planning on the right coordinates motion nicely. Sense plan act on the left fails again since it's simply not aware of the change. We have extensively evaluated all the system architectures on a real robotic platform in four scenarios that exhibit either a challenging workspace geometry or a dynamic environment. That incorporating real-time feedback on different time scales is crucial to achieve safe manipulation. The importance of fast feedback becomes apparent in uncertain and dynamically changing environments, which we have covered with our different scenarios. From our empirical evaluations, we further conclude that fast feedback for motion generation relaxes the requirements on perception systems. For further details, please visit us during the interactive session.